We're beginning our final series, um, which involves lunges and balance work in the sagittal plane. So we have our second to heaviest loop band around our outer thighs. We're going to bring our roller long ways, and you're going to want to take that um, second to lightest loop band off if it's still on, so it's out of the way. We won't need it for the remainder of our workout. You're going to place the roller, um, you're going to place the top of your inside foot on the roller. So I want you to start with your dominant leg, the opposite leg of your dominant arm forward. And so the leg that is back should be the same as your dominant arm, the leg that's back. And the top of the foot is on that roller. And you're just going to slide that roller back coming into a lunge. So the hands on the hip and you're going to bend the knees. And so the top of the foot is on the roller, slide it back and pull it in, sliding it back and pulling it in. Good. Exhale down, inhale, lift. Now, if you have good range of motion, this, this band may be sliding and you could lose the band. Um, the band is actually very helpful if your range of motion is pretty small and you, you don't, you don't know how to square your pelvis off quite yet. It can be helpful. That outside hand, bring the thumb to the bony protrusion of your hips and have your fingers sliding down towards the floor. See from here, if you can guide that bony protrusion of the hip out to the side, widening your pelvis and pull the shoulder blades together a little more, retract them. Good. If you're feeling knee pain, decrease your range of motion and brace those abs. Hear your ujjayi breath. Feel all corners of the feet pressing into the floor. Okay, let's turn around, switch sides. Great work. Setting up at the other side. Now this side should be more challenging. Your non-dominant leg. Go ahead when you're ready, exhaling back. Keep your focus of your eyes up eye level. Outside hand on the hip, thumb on the bony protrusion of the hip, fingers pointing down towards the floor. This is easy to lose the roller here. So in an effort to not lose it, use your inner thighs as you pull back. Pull your pelvis down as you come up. Brace your lower abs. Retract your shoulder blades. Don't look down. Keep your chin lifted. Feel the outer edge of the foot pressing as much as the inner edge. Give me four more. Exhale down. Inhale, lift. Exhale down. Inhale, lift. Two more. Inner thighs pull you back. Pelvis pulls down to the feet as you come up. And pelvic floor muscles engage. And you lift back up. Okay. Turn the roller so it's flat against the wall. Long way is flat against the wall and face me, you're going to step into a lunge and go ahead and start with your dominant leg against that roller and your non-dominant leg forward in a lunge. So the back of the heel goes against that roller to pin it and the other leg comes forward into the lunge. From here, the same hand as the hand, um, as the front leg stays on the hip, the other hand's going to come into a fist. You're going to inhale, pull your pelvis down, exhale, twist and punch over that front leg. Punch. Give me four punches, two and three and four back to center. Inhale, ground yourself and, but stay in the lunge, isometric hold in the lunge the whole time. Just ground yourself, inhale, and then twist. Exhale, two, three, four, pause, inhale, pull the pelvis down and exhale, twist, two, three. Four, and one more time, inhale, pelvis pulls down, exhale, and twist, two, three, and four. Option to step forward or back, go ahead and set up on the other side. Square the pelvis off first, retract your shoulder blades, thumb on the bony protrusion of the hips, fingers pointing down to the floor. Retract your shoulder blades and inhale, pull the pelvis down. Exhale, twisting from your rib cage. Keep the chest soft, shoulders down the spine. Focus up a little higher than eye level. Space between the chin and the chest. Only punching on our exhales with the inner thighs pulling back. Pausing on the inhale to ground and pull the pelvis down towards the floor, deepening into this lunge posture. You're doing great. Good. Give me two more sets. Inhale, prepare. And exhale, punch. 
two, three, four. One more. Inhale, prepare, pull the pelvis down. And exhale, give me that punch. And two, and three, and four. And stepping forward or back. Go ahead and grab your three pound weight. You're going to keep this second to heaviest band around your outer thighs. Final exercise standing on our band today, balance in the sagittal plane. We're stepping forward to balance and we're stepping back to balance. Hold the weight in your non-dominant hand first and bring it into this position, external rotator cuff isometric hold. Go ahead and step on up to your hamstring curl and I want you stepping up onto your outside leg, same leg that's loaded with the weight. Find your hamstring curl, hold it here. Inhale one, test your balance. Exhale one. And if you don't want to test the balance, you can move the arm in um, on the exhale and open the forearm out on the inhale. So you can play around with movement of the arm or you can isometrically hold and test the balance. I don't want you moving the arm with both hands off the wall though. It's a little too much going on. Use the low abs. Great. Let's step in front of our roller now slowly. Bend your knees as you step down. Now this is the precarious one. You're going to step, so your, your roller is behind you now. You're going to step that leg backwards up onto the roller. You got to push down to go up. Inhale down and use those low abs. It's a little easier on the full length roller than the half roller. Hold it here. Inhale one, breathe. Exhale one. Inhale two. Exhale two. Brace those abs. Inhale three. Exhale three, and go ahead and step forward. We're going to switch sides, switch the weight. Final step to balance here. Stepping up on your inhale, bracing the abs on your exhale. Inhale, plug the shoulders down. Exhale, pull those lower abs in and up. Ujjayi breath, Darth Vader sound. No pursing of the lips. Fog of mirror. Great, step forward, final time. Now I want you to be extra careful here. Um, as you're stepping back, I'd advise you doing this on the floor if you have a half roller because it's, it's a little harder than the full length roller. You have a little more stability. Stepping back to your hamstring curl slowly and hold here. Inhale one, breathe. Exhale one. Inhale two. Exhale two, inhale, pelvis pulls down, point the toes. Exhale, inner thighs pull back. Front ribs reaching for the back ribs. Close off that rib cage. Lift up through your lower abdominals. Excellent. Let's make our way off the roller and take that band off our outer thighs. We're going to come to a wide-legged second position seated with our legs stretched out to the side to open up our adductors. Have your foam roller between your legs and your second to lightest loop band around your wrist as we did for child's pose. I want you to pull out on it with your fingers long and I want you to glide forward into a forward fold here. Now if this hurts your knees, soften the knees and bring the legs closer in towards the roller. If the knees are good, point the toes so that you really do stretch the feet and get the adductors active and opening. And we're going to breathe here. Inhale, pelvis pulls down towards the floor. Exhale, inner thighs pull back towards the wall behind you. Push down and out into those arms. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Inhale. And exhale. And walk that roller over to the right so that it's right by the, your right foot on the diagonal and glide it out. Hold it here. Inhale one. Breathe. Exhale one. Inhale two. Exhale two, inhale three, exhale three, walking back to center slowly and making your way to the other side, setting up, rolling out, inhale, pelvis pulls down, exhale, inner thighs pull back, inhale, pelvis pulls down, exhale, inner thighs pull back. And inhale, pelvis pulls down. And exhale, inner thighs pull back, walking it back to center slowly. Final three breaths in the center. Take it down. Rolling center. Hold it here. Inhale one. And exhale one, toes pointed. Inhale two. Exhale two. 
Inhale, three. Exhale, three. Inhale, rounding up, setting the roller and band to the side. Bring your hands by your hips on the floor. Bounce the legs slowly to bring them back in towards one another. Bounce, 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 bounce. Come to a comfortable seated position. Great job. 